Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another historical humans heritage and today we are bringing you another entry but this time off of the National Register of Historic Places we are looking at one of two Coca-Cola buildings in the state of Illinois that is listed on the National Register. Now what makes this Coca-Cola plant notable? Well uh, the building we are looking at today is the Coca-Cola Bottling Company building uh, that inhabited Quincy, Illinois. It was built in 1940, and it is on the National Register because it fulfills criterion C of the register, which is, I believe, um, yes, uh, its uh, architecture uh, is unique enough and uh, iconic enough for its time period to warrant preservation. Uh, it is a uh, rather interesting look uh, uh look of a building i believe uh the artistic terms uh that the register summarizes uh its justification for um uh classifying this building as a historic site uh is that it is uh that is an embodiment of the uh art deco uh both art modern and international variants uh so it combines sort of the combines multiple schools of one art style into itself which is you know always unique to see a blending of uh of architectural uh uh i guess just stylistic intent um <laughs> and it's I also mean, I mean... Uh, it's also one of the it's also one of the few examples of more modern architecture in quincy most of quincy uh Quincy's architecture actually predates 1900. And I mean, it's also oh, it's on, a man. it's a um, it show it's kind of like um, it showcases like Midwest uh, industrialism before a lot of this stuff because Coca Cola a lot of Coca Cola plants ended up uh, relocating around Chicago. So uh, before I mean, Chicago has always been a big place, but. The rest of Illinois ha used to have a lot more industry before, for a long time before stuff started to close down in the rest of the state. Yeah, the, the before Chicago went full urban sprawl and just decided to eat the surrounding counties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Chicago is not Eldridge Monster, we promise. Yeah, no, Chicago's great. And then one of the things that I have displayed here on the screen that is also noted is the facade i uh, mainly this logo right at the top of the building that's actually the coca-cola logo if i can actually zoom in on it here you can uh, and, uh probably make yeah, it out you, a little bit better yeah. as you zoom out yeah that that facade is a very big part of why it is there specifically that sign um that sign is you know art deco style that it is very 1940s coca-cola corporate branding and it is it's it's the corporate sign in in the art style of the time, which, you know, corporations really don't change their logos that much. So having it encased in, you know, what would be considered tasteful art for this period is uh, something you don't always see. I also uh, just find it very interesting, too, because a lot of times you don't see... Um... You don't see branding like this anymore. You don't see companies putting their logo in brickwork, in like fully labeling it for exactly this reason where coca-cola moved out of this plant they outgrew it and they went into larger regional areas so this building kind of fell to the wayside you don't really see that kind of usage anymore yeah, and seeing you know, as how it is still abandoned and on the national register it's obvious they couldn't sell it to another competitor or business because there's a giant coca-cola sign literally bricked into the wall yeah, a lot of a lot of old parts of like cities, whether it's like Decatur, uh, Danville, uh, Bloom here in Bloomington, uh, you'll you'll see a lot of that kind of style. Um, in some cases, murals have actually been painted over them as like local art pieces, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's still pretty cool. Like it's it's it it's character for like we like it's a joke that like all of mr midwestern uh downtowns are all like dead yeah they are because all of it went towards chicago or it, depending on what part of the state you're in st louis yep. so yep. it's like the last remnant of what 
towns used to be. Oh yeah, and uh, you can definitely also see with um, with the facade on this uh, with this building too. Just to go back to the art style, because this this sort of artistic elements is what really uh, keeps it from just being an old abandoned building and makes it something worthy of being on the register. This is you know the defining feature. You can see uh, sort of going along by the sign, it kind of fades a little bit in some places, but there are bands of these like lighter stone going around it. Just Put in there to highlight the building there's absolutely no structural reason to do this purely it's purely it, it's purely an expense for aesthetic uh, the same goes with uh something that i personally do like a lot which is um the uh inlaid uh faux colon uh, uh colonnade uh between every window okay. uh, right notice, yeah. yeah you'll notice there is a full there's a full pillar there uh fused into the wall completed with its own complete with its own little ornate cap and a little gaps between the other windows have smaller versions of the main uh thing so they actually built outwards uh a little bit see i like uh, when... the inlays on the pillar yep the little art deco logos they're synonymous with art deco buildings oh yes, Just yes like the, little coca-cola bottles stone. yeah yeah the yeah the, yeah they, they are actually little coca-cola bottles i zoomed in on they are coke bottles That's on those awesome. art deco inlays uh, yeah on pillars on the sides which again it, it's buttressing this uh uh this building when you don't really have to uh because that that's what that's what these you know corners you know stick out pretty sharply and that's just to make a buttress and it's just a giant couple and actually as i zoom in more a little bit just on my end um the bottles appear to have coca-cola etched into them <laughs> they really they appear to be labeled they appear to be labeled. Yes, it's very faded in the light, but I swear on the center band, it's smoothed out and there's uh, there's script there. Uh, it's near they... impossible to be in the black and white, unfortunately. Oh, that's so cool! Like that that's dedication. Yeah. Right. So this was this was an expensive building. It's built in 1940, and uh, this is a very it's like you can tell they uh, they spent the money on it. The ironic part to that, I personally think, is that is wartime industrial America. The fact that they were spending that extra money, and there's the bottles there I have highlighted on the screen. You can't yeah. really see the Coca-Cola yeah. logo from this but, angle, but but you can at least you can at least see the bottle shape with like the peacock feathers going behind it. Yeah. Um. Actually, uh. 1940 it's not wartime spending for the u.s uh u.s is engaged in the uh, lend lease, yeah uh and is currently uh basically uh trying to bankrupt japan's oil supply <laughs> but they are not uh but we we are not in full wartime footing the government is spending more money on wartime endeavors like um modernization and uh uh troop training but uh we have not we have not gone to war yet that's going to be a year after this building was made. Well, on that literal bombshell, I think that's a good point oh. for us to wrap up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The screen the screen just has it like that like fade in overlay of just Pearl Harbor. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Literal bombshell. Oh no. You Funny enough. Funny bombshell. enough, I actually had a relative at Pearl Harbor. Oh no. Well, he was a cook on one of the ships. Oh, he walked boy. off before the ship exploded. Smart. Yep. Well, he was doing runs. He was doing runs to get supplies. If you guys enjoyed watching today's episode, <laughs> thank you for watching. Please leave a like down below. And please be sure to check out our web store, the Humanitaire Collections, listed down in the description down below. Our current run of merchandise there helps support the Trevor Project, an LGBT plus uh, organization. So please help us support a great charity and a great cause. And uh, we will see you in the next video.